So for us, gender equity is a non-negotiable human right. Just like when we look at markets, we look at the whole audience, we need to, as a sector, look at the whole audience. Unfortunately, that has not happened in the past. When we design infrastructure, service delivery, innovation, we always forget half of the population. Women are not at the center of decision making. They don't have the agency and their voices are often very subdued, if at all heard. What we are asking for is a very level playing field. It makes sense from markets. It makes sense when you think of your consumers and it think, makes a lot of sense when you're thinking about human rights. So if we are talking about a global world where we want equity for all, then women cannot be left out of any part. They have to be in the boardroom. They have to be at the center of decision making, how resources are allocated. And the value add will be 10x. It's already been proved. Where women have a strong voice in boardrooms, companies perform better. Even from economic sense, it makes sense. From human rights, it's a non-negotiable. It's not easy. We all live with those biases that we have grown up with. They are 5,000 years old or more. We have to break down those barriers, make the world equitable. That means in our sector more than anywhere else. They suffer the most when they don't have it. The problems are magnified because of our biologies and the socio-cultural impact of when we get it right is so worth the effort. So there is now in 2019 a non-negotiable. As I hope, in 2020 we shouldn't be talking about gender equity. It should be taken for granted in our sector. And I believe water and sanitation can be the exemplar in this.